CBS The Bold and the Beautiful revealed that this year's Christmas, fans will be able to witness a very special scene. As usual, the Christmas party will be held at Eric's mansion, and he will be the piano player in front of everyone. This has been a tradition over the years, and this year was no exception. But a special thing is that this year will not only have Eric solo, but also the combination of Douglas, and surely attention will be turned to Douglas when he appears on stage. In fact, in real life, John McCook, who is playing Eric, has had very interesting sharing with fans. He was very interested in the fact that Joseph Samry was practicing the piano. The boys seriously practiced the song Jingle Bells that the two of them would perform on the show. John McCook doesn't know the effect this combination will have on fans, but he's really looking forward to it. Deacon is more careful than ever. Now he has to erase all the clues related to Sheila, or he risks going to jail. She leave and left Deacon's house, but she forgot to bring the large amount of money that belonged to her. Deacon made an appointment with Sheila, and he wanted to give Sheila all the money back. It belongs to Sheila anyway, and now Sheila may need the money to be able to run away from the police pursuit. And Deacon leaving such a large amount of money in the house is also quite dangerous. If the police questioned him, he wouldn't know how to tell. He also had no use for the money, so it was best to give it back to Sheila. Deacon didn't even forget to tell Sheila never to contact him, because all his communication methods are probably monitored by the police. Deacon is the most likely suspect to help Sheila, so it's best if Sheila has nothing to do with him or both of them are involved. The enmity that has now for been resolved has now become very strong. Taylor and Brooke never stop fighting each other, and of course their only target is Rich. Even the fight between the two makes Steffi and Thomas automatically hate Hope. But things are different now. Brooke and Taylor are maintaining a pretty close friendship, all because they agreed to give up Rich. Yes, Rich was the cause of Brooke and Taylor's injuries many times over. He always chooses between Brooke and Taylor, but not knowing it, the two of them slowly fall in love with him. After so many times witnessing Rich arbitrarily, in the end, Taylor and Brooke were both determined to reject him. Now, whether Rich wants to get back with Taylor or Brooke is out of the question. Brooke and Taylor also got along better as a result. They were no longer preoccupied with Ridge, but had more important issues to deal with.